Mm-hmm. Yes. And, um... Let's see. Four Islands High Tide Time Spiral. I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep this hand. <laughs> We're going off turn four. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have duress. <laughs> uh, we probably just want to draw like Azorius Signet. Oh Jesus, Library of Alexandria, okay. Well, we're going to have a lot of island go. Yeah, we might even wait till turn 5, just to have a higher chance of doing something. This hand is pretty stellar, though. <laughs> okay, Shell Dock Isle. Hopefully he's not reanimator, and he's like if he just discards Gristlebrand, that'll be so disgusting. Okay. Keep representing counterspell. I know. Next turn we're representing like tons of shit. Yeah, give me that soul ring. Turn three. We just wanted to leave up Counterspell. That's why we didn't play it sooner. Yeah, I don't generally use F6, and that's because there are effects where your opponent will play something that changes the board state to the point where it's like, oh, now I actually want whatever thing, you know. Okay, I'll play a Memory Jar. Okay. Next turn we get to go off with Time Spiral. And now we're representing Counterspell for Spike. Now we're representing Cryptic Command. Now we're representing Mystic Confluence. <laughs> now we're representing, um, I don't know, Counterspell, Mana Drain, Force Spike, Spell, Pierce, Days, Force of Will. God, I hope he doesn't have Counterspell. God, I hope he doesn't have Counterspell. Is it worth it to wait a turn? I'm gonna wait a turn, I think. And we can Mystical Tutor for either Time Walk or Turnabout. Okay, Library of Alexandria. Just getting them extra cards every turn. Tap all your blue mana, asshole. Aww. Probably going for turnabout. Though time walk would not be bad either. Time walk didn't work with high tide, though. Mystical Tutor. Turn about. High Tide. If he counters this, that would also be bad. If this resolves, then I think we're in pretty good shape. Disenchant Memory Jar? I think I'd be okay with that. I'd just go for Time Spiral instead. Let it resolve! Let it resolve! Force Spike? Uh, okay, I will tap this Swamp. He tapped his island and not the Shell Dock Isle. That island was gonna tap for two mana, you schmuck. A 
really wonder what he has. Land. Untap. Time spiral. No, he can't cast Mana Leak. He has a single blue mana or a white and a black mana. Days. Okay, I will pay with a blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mox. Mox. Signet. Preordain. Um, do we want this forest? I think so. Top, top. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We want to save the red mana for painful truths, potentially? Those like draw four cards. Bell and Cron. We don't actually get extra mana from Palancron. We're gaining exactly zero. We spend 11 mana to make 11 mana. But we can Sphinx's Rev, leaving up two mana for Time Walk. Draw seven. Hmm, I did not think about leaving up mana for Frantic Search. So that's a bit sad. I will play this Lion's Eye Diamond. We could Memory Jar and be mostly guaranteed to get a Time Walk. I don't actually hate that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Memory Jar go for Time Walk. Time walk. Hopefully he didn't get another daze. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't have the mana to do anything. Go ahead. Too bad we lose that academy. That would have been nice. Okay, we don't need Forest, Island, Watery Grave, Quagmire, Chase, Island, Forest, Heartbeat, Infinite Mana Wealth View. Yes, I know I'm down to one card in the deck. It's uh, not important. We just wealth him. Well, this will take a while.
Okay. Maybe not, not the most exhilarating way to win. Takes a lot less time in real life when you can just be like, hey look, I have this wealth. Is that good? Cast it for 400, leaving up 2 million mana. Don't need to do it much more. more. Well, you for 18, 19, nope, for 18. Go. Cast the spells? No. No, I don't want to cast the spells. They can be exiled. Um, and for good measure, just to make sure he doesn't have any upkeep shenanigans, we want to Emrakul him during his next turn. Oh, we get to see his hand. Hey, look, we won. Okay. Cool. That was that was a good game of Magic the Gathering, the way it was intended. Uh, we could bring in Faith's Fetters for Jace. I wouldn't mind Faith's Fetters against this opponent. I could send a message that I have wealth to him, but you know, I don't know if he wants. If he wanted to concede, he could ask if I have something. I don't really feel like asking my opponent online, "Hey, dude, please concede," because there's no real reason for him to believe me, or even if he does believe me, there's no real reason for him to concede. If someone wants to, then that's fine, but I don't really feel like asking him to. Um, the only thing I could really see bringing in is Faith's Fetters. It's good against Planeswalkers. I mean, our draw of that game was pretty stupid, though. We kept a hand that was just like four lands, high tide, time spiral, and it just worked. It's like, okay, land go, land go, land soul ring go, land go, land go, land memory jar go, land, land, land. And then it's just like, oh, well, because like time walk and recall, wealth, you die. <laughs> I don't think we sideboard anything. I don't think I'm too worried about the Planeswalkers. If it was Tamiyo, I could bring in Pything Needle. It's finding me mid Palancron combo. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, we haven't ever had like a Palancron combo that was only generating generating one or two mana per cycle. Those are the ones that where it's just like sit there for ten mana to make for ten minutes to make twenty mana. And, like, not even be done yet. Those are the ones that are really painful. Okay, he certainly had some sideboarding to do. This hand is fantastic. Yep, turn one. Mox. Tolarian Academy. Soul Ring. 
Signet. Draw Jace off the top and cast it. Yeah, that's what we want. Draw Jace off the top and cast it. God, that would be insane. <laughs> turn one, Jace. Sure, that seems like a decent turn one. Is it my turn now? <laughs> oh my god. Jace. Oh my god, we drew Jace! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah I'll take the Sphinx's rev you got me <laughs> sometimes you call your shots and uh you know what can I say I'm gonna plus one. And then rev for five. Yeah, that was some fair magic. <laughs> oh, he has four spike. All right, that's fine. I, for some reason, looked up and was like, oh, it's not an island. I don't need to play around days. I didn't even think to play around four spike. That's okay. That's fine. That is totally fine. We're just going to take whatever the two cards are. Mostly because we want this land. We're not going to go for Heartbeat just yet. Do we have black mana? Oh, we don't have black mana. Shit, I didn't even notice. Okay, put both on bottom then. Memory Jar. Sure. This looks like an average turn three. Jesus, dude, that turn one where it's just like looking at the hand. And if we draw Jace, and then we drew it. Oh, man. This, this one might have to go on YouTube just for that. Just the dream Jace. You know, whatever. Jace died. Who cares? He wasn't good anyway. Black mana? No. Um, we need black mana. We could just play Emrakul. Right? One, two... This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can even we can even have enough mana to not get uh four spiked. Anyways, yeah, let's do that. Boom. Turn four, Emra Cool. Cast it. Cause there were three card types. That's why we wanted Jace to die. He gets us a mana. Frantic search first? Nah, I'm good. We're saving it for when we heartbeat. Okay. Can I look at this face down card? I'm supposed to be able to look at this face down card. Um, let's see. There's nothing we can do to mess him up, is there? I guess we Declaration the Mother of Runes. And then give it pro-white so he doesn't get a clue? No, that's fine. Just Declaration the Mother of Runes. I don't think we want to give it pro-white. I think... We'd rather him not have the clue. Oh, hey. Go ahead. Looking for a black mana. We could also just play Heartbeat and go for Memory Jar. That doesn't seem very good. I'd rather just 
activate memory jar if that's what we're going to do. You can play Elspeth, it doesn't do anything. I think I'd rather him have a clue than a Mother of Runes. I'm not sure, though. His hand was just like... If he's cracking the clue, he's just going to lose. Even if he finds... Well, I guess if he finds an answer to Emrakul, then maybe there'd be something. I think it's very weird that I was not able to see what this face-down card is, though. It did not let me see in the interface what that was. You. You. Palancron. Black mana. Okay, we stacked it wrong. We stacked it wrong. It's okay. Oh, I stacked it wrong again, dude. That one was a, was a legit misclick, though. Okay, third time is the charm. Island Palancron Shambling Vent. Wow, I look like such a smart person, don't I? Let's attack with our Evercool, since we're such a smart goddamn person. Jesus Christ, that was some pain. <laughs> okay, we won. Jesus. Was that just 6-0? Oh my god. 3-0-6-0! Yeah, we're up to 11 goddamn trophies. Read it and weep. For anyone who did not see the deck list, maybe watching on YouTube and was too bored to watch through the draft or the deck building, because I do that shit really slowly sometimes. Here's the deck list. Let me bring things over here so you can see them. Um, I'm not sure exactly... Move over. Oh, why won't they move over? Okay, they don't want to move over. That's okay. Anyway, trust me, there's an Emrakul over there. I don't know exactly how good Gush is in this deck. I don't think it was that great, because we don't have a fast bond or anything, but... Uh, Python Needle. The only real sideboard cards we have were O-Ring, Faith's Fetters, and Python Needle for Planeswalkers, mostly. Since Faith's Fetters actually beats Planeswalkers. Which is so rare for removal printed before Planeswalkers to actually do. And I opted to not run the Anticipate just because I think everything else is better. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. And I think...